So today I'm going to talk about contagious eczema, which is also most commonly known as sore mouth. Uh, it is a viral disease that is common in goats and sheep. Uh, also uh, known names is baby mouth, and contagious pustular dermatitis, and dwarf. Um, some of the symptoms, uh, thip, uh, thick, scaby sores on the lips and gums, um, but uh, these sores can actually be found anywhere where a lot of hair isn't, so around the eyes, um, sometimes around their hooves, or wherever, like a scratch or something similar to that. Uh, it is highly contagious, so once you have it in your herd, it usually spreads throughout the whole herd pretty quickly. Uh, it lasts from anywhere from one to four weeks on an animal. Um, and the, the main problem with it is the secondary infections that can be caused. Um, so my experience with uh, sore mouth, uh, it was actually at my aunt's house. Uh, we were milking a doe. Uh, uh, her her kid, uh, she had twins, and both kids were, she wasn't letting them eat. Uh, so we, uh, we looked a little closer and the kids had sores on their, mouth, uh, on their mouths and which had caused the doe to get uh, sores on its udder and around there so she was very sore and wouldn't let them eat. Um, and then a little bit quickly after that we started looking at the other goats and found that a few of them had started to get sores on the other pens. So this was goats? Yeah. Yes. Because uh, uh, you would be sheep, right? I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. so doe should have been yes. my kickoff there. Thanks. Um, uh, treatment, for most cases, uh, it's a viral disease. You kind of have to just let it run its course. Uh, you can put hydrating, uh, uh, hydrating ointments on the scabs in order to prevent them from uh, becoming uh, dried out and crack and blood, uh, bleed. Uh, and it also suggests antibiotics for secondary infections because it's very common to get uh, with open sores uh, to get those secondary infections. Um, so my aunt's experience was a little bit uh, unique. As she was talking to her veterinarian, she was about two months away from kidding season. Uh, the kids that she had already had were a little bit, uh, a little unusual and a little bit beforehand. Uh, so, and she also has about 40 to 60 head and they're kind of split up. So uh, the layout kind of prevented them from just uh, isolating them. So what they did, so, uh, and then prevention is kind of also hard. It's, you can get a vaccination, but the vaccines are live virus. So once you introduce the, if you give them vaccinated, you're actually introducing the virus to your herd and so they can get it later on. Um, also the vaccinations only last one to two years immunity to the virus. They can't get it for some reason any longer. Um, also another, Thing that causes problems is that the virus can live in the scabs that fall off the, the sores hmm. up to, uh, for a long extended tier, sometimes up to two years, just in the scabs alone. Okay, I got a question on that. You know, because um, some vaccines are live, but they're often called modified live. Do you know? Um, most are modified, okay. but uh, a few of them actually aren't. So you have to be very specific about when you're getting them. Okay, so now this is this one that was given. Is it modified live, or I mean, it doesn't say that, but I, I just don't know. Is it live? Um, I'm not sure with the sample I gave. Okay, okay. Um, it was just a. Okay, I see. There, you got live modified virus. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so instead of trying to prevent the other ones from getting it, we actually uh, spread the virus throughout the herd so that we would get it. Since it's a four week process, it would take a little over a month so that by the time the does would kid, uh, it would, they would be remission. Over. Yes. Um, so <laughs> and we took an old toothbrush and we... Uh, Not to be used again, of course. Yes, no. Uh, but we brushed the sores of the infected animals mm -hmm. and then we would uh, brush uh, their ears, like uh, the, uh, goats, we have Nubian goats, so they have really soft ears. And so it would what it infect uh, affect their uh, eating or consuming water, drinking water, 
or anything like that if it's just on their ear, but it would still give them the immunity for a few years. So then they would have a scab on their ear, you're saying? Yes, they would get the scab on the ear instead of around their right. muscles. No. Do you have any pictures of that, or do you know uh, what it looked like? Do not. Was it um, was it like the picture of the the scab around the muzzle? I mean, yes. was it terribly big? No, they don't get very big. Okay. Um, there we go. As no. Ulrich told <laughs> Ordo, it is a zoonotic disease, and so uh, it's always called orphan humans. For some yeah, reason. I don't know why that is, because that's what I I've always called it, orph. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like in animals, it can go by four or five different names, yeah. but in humans, they have always called it ORF. And so uh, you can get lesion, non, uh, lesions and nodules on your hands or um, pretty much wherever you have an open wound. Uh, my sister actually got scratched, and when she was milking the dough, got, got it, and so now she has a scar mm -hmm. on her, the top of her hand. Uh, she said it was really painful for about two weeks. Okay. And it looks very similar to this. That one. could be my hand, by the way, but I don't think it is. Because, <laughs> you know, after we found out there was orphan herd, this was like for an experiment. We were taking blood samples and, you know, doing all kinds of things. Then we started wearing gloves. But, you know, it, you don't think about that until something happens. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'll let you point, Andrew. <laughs> So you said that you just like put it on their ears and then it like won't spread to other like soft areas of their bodies. So like if they get it on their like nose, it won't spread to anywhere else. Um, most com usually it does not. If they have like an open scratch or something, and another goat was would rub their infected muzzle mm -hmm. against it, then there is a possibility of like. But we put it like deep in their ears, so well, that there was there would be little contact right. with. Almost no contact. Was that on the recommendation of the veterinarian? Yes. Okay. Okay. That was. I mean, I can see the logic, you know, because the body is still, it's in the body. The virus is all over the body. It's just that exteriorly, the scat, it, what doesn't, you know, it doesn't spread from like around the mouth area unless there's other wounds. Yes. You've got to have that. So that's the beauty of the intact integument. Because, you know, that, that hand there might have been, had a bruise on it before, you know, the human hand. So you just asking for it if you have a virus, yeah. Good yeah. question, yeah, ORF. How many had ever heard of ORF before? Okay, like only two, so like almost the whole class got brand new information, thanks to you, buddy. Okay, well, that's good.